doing a test five review now. We are doing question 13. Question 13 says an unpolarized light of intensity 20 watts per meter squared goes through two polarizers whose transmission axes are different by 30 degrees. What is the intensity of light through the second one? Okay, I think it has to do with the polarization of light, which is an important concept in light theory. So uh, we, we learn when we talk about light uh, waves, we learn that light waves are made up of fluctuating electric fields and magnetic fields. Uh, generally, uh, an unpolarized light wave will have electric field fluctuating in a 360 direction. So there could be an up and down electric field, there could be sideways electric field, and then this way, and then this way, and then this way. So if I take a cross section of the um, light wave and I just draw the cross section, you all see an up and down, sideways fluctuating electric field, this way, this way, this way, and this way, and every which way there's an electric field. Perpendicular to the electric field, there's also a magnetic field that corresponds to it, right? The up and down electric field, has a magnetic field that's fluctuating sideways, perpendicular to it. So every single electric field has a magnetic field perpendicular to it, fluctuating uh, with it. And the light wave is going this way. Now, how, does, how do polarizers work? Polarizer is a material, uh, let's say a circular material like this. This is polarizer number one. What happens is this polarizer will have a transmission axis, it will only allow light of, for example, up and down electric field through it. Okay, so we write the transmission axis this way. That means of all the electric fields fluctuating in all 360 degrees, only the ones fluctuating up and down can go through. So this one, therefore, the first polarizer will reduce the intensity of the light wave because only up and down electric fields will go through. So we can draw it this way. Okay, well when we do the theory of this, we see that only half the intensity that gets through. Uh, of all the ones that are cut here, only the vertical gets through, or it could be only the horizontal gets through, and intensity is cut in half. So the, if the intensity of this wave is I0, the intensity of this wave is I0 over two, okay? Then the second polarizer, if that polarizer is also up and down, so let's say this first one was up and down, if that second polarizer is also up and down, then all of it will go through this uh, second polarizer. So since the second polarizer is accepting all the up and downs, and this is also up and down, and then the intensity here will be I0 over 2. How about if the second polarizer only accepts sideways electric field? How about if only accepts sideways electric field? Well, if this is up and down and that accepts sideways, nothing gets through. And so it completely blocks the light wave and the light wave that gets through is zero, right? So the way we say for general angle, okay, is that if the transmission axis is at a certain angle from this, theta, <coughs> what's going to end up happening is the component of the electric field along this axis is only going to go through, right? So this is uh, going to be, let's say this one happens to be an up and down electric field, and that one is only accepting this kind of electric field, right? Theta. So if I take the cosine of that angle, E cos theta, E cos theta, only the cosine of the angle of the, the, this is the angle between the two transmission axes, only the cosine of the angle goes through, right? And the intensity of a light wave happens to be proportional to the electric field squared. The intensity is proportional to electric field squared, right? So if E cos theta goes through, then what's gonna be the electric, the intensity of the uh, light wave here? It's gonna be I zero over two, times cosine squared theta. So it's therefore proportional to the square of the cosine, right? That gets through the second polarizers. If you guys watch my playlist on YouTube that says demos, I have demo with polarizers that I show you guys different things. So you can uh, gain uh, experience of seeing those. 
uh, go to my demos playlist and see the one that says polarizers, okay? So now let's come to this problem. So if the intensity of the light wave here is 20 watts per meter squared, how much will go through the first one? It'll be half of that, no matter what the axis of transmission of this is, because it's gonna accept only uh, either sideways or vertical or some other angle, right? Half of that is gonna get through. So this is gonna be 10, right? And then therefore this is 10. Then I'm gonna have to multiply that by cosine squared theta. So this is 10, cosine squared, and then what's the angle between the two? It's 30 degrees, okay? So what's cosine of 30? Well, that's gonna be rad three over two, rad three over two, and then you're gonna square that, right? <coughs> so, uh, rad three over two, that's gonna be three over four, if you square that, and then four goes into 10, two and a half times, two and a half times three is seven and a half. If you weren't sure what cosine of 30 is, of course, you could also do this with the calculator. You could go cosine, of 30 squared and then multiplied by um, 10, right? Seven and a half. So the answer is seven and a half watts per meter squared gets through. Each of the answers here is basically set up as a pitfall. You gotta be careful. 10 is if someone thinks only it's gonna be cut in half, okay? If they didn't read the problem carefully, maybe they thought there was only one polarizer, they're gonna put 10. 8.66 is, is if what? Uh, that's probably if they do 10 times cosine 30, right? Because cosine 30 is actually 0.866. If you multiply that by 10, you get 8.66. So if somebody only does 10 cos 30, they're gonna put 8.66. Okay, how about 15? Well, 15 is gonna make that mistake. Well, notice 15 is twice the seven and a half. So 15 is gonna be someone who forgets that, what the role of the first polarizer is. The role of the first polarizer is to cut the intensity in half. So if they forgot that, they're gonna do 20 cosine squared 30, and then they're gonna get 15. So they're gonna forget to cut that in half. So they're gonna get this answer. How about two and a half? Two and a half is basically just the wrong answer, uh, completely wrong. And then seven and a half is the correct answer, okay? So you can see here uh, how to apply the theory of polarization and how useful it is and know how to do this problem. Thank you.